Born four weeks early, Jesse Robertson is a healthy baby. Mom Mary was given magnesium sulfate at 20 weeks to prevent Jesse from being born any sooner. And it's magnesium sulfate which researchers now credit with protecting premature babies from certain forms of brain damage. I think it's one of the most uh, thrilling discoveries of my, of my career. UNC Dr. John Thorpe is professor of obstetrics and gynecology and division director of women's primary health care. He, along with the University of Alabama at Birmingham researchers, found that infusions of magnesium sulfate cut the risk of cerebral palsy in half in premature babies. I would rank this up with uh, steroids that help prevent lung disease in newborn babies as a secondary prevention tool. Thorpe suggests that magnesium sulfate, or what some might call Epsom salt. You know, what my mama made, made me use to soak my infected toe in. Is a simple remedy for what could potentially be a lifelong disability. And it can be found in almost any and every delivery room in the United States. It's, it's not expensive. It's not esoteric. It's widely av available. One in a hundred are going to have a very, very early preterm birth, less than 32 weeks. And for those moms, that 1% that of moms, that, this means a whole, a, a, a whole, whole lot and for, and for their babies. But what is unclear is exactly how magnesium sulfate works. It is thought that somehow before birth, it protects those areas of the brain that control motor development. The researchers reported their findings in a recent issue of the New England Journal of Medicine. Dr. Thorpe says this discovery is just the beginning as he and others attempt to solve an age-old dilemma. I really want to understand, and it amazes me that we don't understand what starts the childbirth process? What is the biology that leads to birth at term and, and prior to, to term? I'm Stephanie Creighton reporting.